Part 1, Legendary In the Middle Ages, as a result of mistranslations, three instruments described, in the Hebrew Bible, and Talmud, were interpreted as organ prototypes. Instrument 1, Agav, invented by Jubal before the flood, is translated as organ in some English Bibles. Instrument 2, Mashrakitha, Babylonian exile from the 6th set BC, appears for the first time in 1650, as a possible prototype of the organ. Instrument 3, Megrifa, Jerusalem Temple, is described in the Talmud as an object, or instrument. Was also suspected, to be one of the prototypes. All three instruments are legendary, there are no archaeological findings, or detailed descriptions. Part 2 The oldest organ on proof, is the hydraulis, an organ that works with water pressure. The hydraulis was developed in the 3rd century BC in Alexandria, by Ctesibius. There are archaeological findings of the hydraulis, since the 19th century. The hydraulis spread in Europe. Part 3 According to Julius Pollux, from the 2nd century C, in addition to the hydraulics, bellow organs were now also used. A pneumatic organ without water, was easier to transport and tune. The pneumatic organ, replaced the water hydraulic organ. On the pedestal of an obelisk, from the 4th century CE, in the Hippodrome of Constantinople, one finds the oldest known illustration of two pneumatic organs. In Europe, the trace of the hydraulic and pneumatic organ, is almost completely lost, after the collapse of the Western Roman Empire. For almost 400 years, but in the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, the development of the organ continued. Byzantine Villa, Marlim in Syria. Mosaic of the Female Musicians. Between the 4th and 7th century, there are only isolated references, reports, or epigrams, on organs in Western Europe. Giuseppe Zarlino, writes in his book Supplementi Musicali, of two organs that are said, to have existed in the ancient city of Grotto, and in St. Anthony in Padua. Zarlino illustrates an organ part, from the organ, from the ancient city Grotto. In the middle of the 7th century, Pope Vitalian is said, to have introduced the organ, into church music in Rome. Whether, these were actually pneumatic, or hydraulic organ instruments, or organ flute instruments in general, is not documented. Part 4 According to Carolingian Chronicles, it is reported, that Pepin, King of the Franks, received an organ from Byzantium. From Emperor Constantine the V. It is said to have been a pneumatic organ, with lead pipes. It was placed, in a church in Compiègne. Eight hundred twelve C. Charlemagne the Great, son of Pippin, King of the Frankish Empire, also received an organ from Byzans. The organ was built in Aix-la-Chapelle, Aachen. Eight hundred twenty-two C.E. The son of Charlemagne, Louis the Pious, had a hydraulic organ built by an organ builder from Venice, which he had installed in the royal palace. Eight 
in Aachen. These and other events led to a new beginning of organ history in Europe. In France, Germany and England, the construction of the organs was started. As a sign of the success of the revival of organ history in Europe, Pope John VIII requested an organ from Germany for Rome. Part 5, 9th Century C. It is not known what the European organs looked like at that time. But first illustrations of organs from this period can be found in Saltern. Very interesting is one of the first illustration of an organ in the Stuttgart Psalter. A Carolingian illuminated manuscript produced between 820 and 830 near Paris. Carolingian book illumination was promoted by Charlemagne. In Psalm 150, we find the first of two represented organ. Since Charlemagne and his father Pippin the Short already owned a pneumatic organ at this time, this is possibly one of the first nearly realistic illustration of organs in Europe at that time. Organs probably did not exist at the time when the first Psalter was written in Hebrew language. Mistranslations of the original Hebrew Psalter text led to the creation of organs in Psalter copies. In the case of the Stuttgart Psalter, it is a translation from the Vulgate Bible. Utrecht Psalter, also in a Carolingian art. This altar was probably made near Reims and was in England between 1000 and 1640. In this Psalter you can find three illustrated water organs, Hydralis. This could mean that the pneumatic organ of Pepin, the pneumatic organ of Charlemagne, and the water organ of Louis were the models for the illustrations in the Stuttgart and Utrecht Psalter. In the Edwine Psalter from the 12th century CE, the three water organs from the Utrecht Psalter have been re-illustrated with little modifications. We do not know if the illustrators of these Psalters ever saw a water organ themselves. But the basic functions were probably known. Part 6, 10th Century C. A poem, written down by Wolfstan, tells of a powerful organ in Winchester. Wolfstan's writing has a long foreword, according to Bishop Elfiege from Winchester, in which he describes in detail the rebuilding of the old minster. This includes a text about a massive organ that stands in the church. The organ is said, to have been built by order of the bishop. Text about the Winchester organ, by Wolfstan, found at Music and the Anglo-Saxons, by Wackerbarth. Details, that are reported about the organ, unique, 400 pipes, double ground, 2x6 bellows above, 14 bellows below, 70 calcans, 2 players, 40 slots with 10 halls, volume of a thunder. You have to cover your ears, to be heard in the whole city famous in the whole country. I have tried to represent the given data into 3D models. 
the models are for inspiration only, not yet final replicas. The time, when European monastery churches, build bigger organs, started. But there are no, preserved objects, or detailed descriptions, of organ technique, from that time.